Good morning, this is Pastor Brian. Thank you for joining me as we read a chapter a day of First Timothy. Today, chapter 2, I'll be reading from the Common English Bible. Uh, feel free to just listen or follow along in your own Bible. First of all, then, I ask that requests, prayers, petitions, and thanksgiving be made for all people. Pray for kings and everyone who is in authority, so that we can live a quiet and peaceful life in complete godliness and dignity. This is right, and it pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. There is one God and one mediator between God and humanity, the human Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a payment to set all people free. This was a testimony and was given at the right time. I was appointed to to be a preacher and apostle of this testimony. I'm telling the truth and I'm not lying. I'm a teacher to the Gentiles in faith and truth. Therefore, I want men to pray everywhere by lifting up hands that are holy without anger or argument. In the same way, I want women to enhance their appearance with clothing that is modest and sensible, not with elaborate hairstyles, gold, pearls, or expensive clothes. They should make themselves attractive by doing good which is appropriate for women who claim to honor God. A wife should learn quietly with complete submission. I don't allow a wife to teach or control her husband. Instead, she should be a quiet listener. Adam was formed first and then Eve. Adam wasn't deceived, but rather his wife became the one who stepped over the line because she was completely deceived. But a wife will be brought safely through childbirth if they both continue in faith, love, holiness, together with self-control. So that's the end of chapter two. So we've got kind of two different topics here. First off, Paul uh, telling Timothy that he should pray for all people in all positions. And, uh, you know, basically saying that everyone should be prayed for because everyone has the opportunity to become uh, a follower of Christ, to have faith in Christ Jesus. And so we should pray for everybody and to set that example for others. And then he goes on to talk about uh, women in the church. And one of the specific uh, reasons for this, it was believed that there was a group, group of Greco-Roman women who were kind of pushing the bounds of society and uh, and maybe flaunting their money might be uh, an accurate way to describe it. And so they were using their money to express themselves through their clothing, their hair, uh, their jewelry, um, which all um, was something that uh, the Roman church was trying to um, squash. And so Paul, I believe, the author... I believe here is, again, as we've talked about multiple times, more focused on having the church be um, separate from society, but at the same time, not um, promoting things that could cause them to be a target. And so uh, the author here is saying that people need to, the women need to dress modestly. They should probably not be a part of this, this upstart movement. And so they need to follow that more traditional path uh, because I, uh, I believe I read somewhere that there was even legislation in the Greco-Roman, uh, in the Roman Empire that was uh, trying to squash this movement by the women. And so uh, it would have been something that would have been punishable. Uh, and have been a record on someone's uh, file. And so Paul doesn't want uh, the church to be associated with that. Uh, so that's kind of some background information and some explanation on that. Um, but, uh, you know, so that's that part. But I really do love that first part of uh, just praying for everybody. You know, don't differentiate, don't make distinction, don't uh, pick and choose who to pray for. Pray for everybody, you know, and not just prayers of thanksgiving, but petitions that would, people would change their hearts or their minds, that people uh, people in leadership, kings and authorities would, would 
have good and just legislation for the good of all people. Uh, and that is why we have the prayers of the people each week as we pray for these different groups. Not just people within our own little church or people who believe in Jesus, but for all people that God may work through them to provide uh, justice and peace throughout all lands. So what did you hear? What did you like? What confused you or troubled you? Um, Write it down, share it with a friend, share it with us. Take care of yourselves. God bless and we'll see you tomorrow.